Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Quick channel update, we just passed 73k and I wanted to say thanks to you guys, you guys are rocking it. It's crazy to think about, but we may hit 100k before the end of the year, which would be a dream come true. Thank you for that, but also give yourselves a pat on the back because you guys have been a huge part with your sharing and promoting of the channel because I certainly wouldn't be able to do it alone. So let's keep it going. Now, this groovy number was a lot of fun to make. I especially like the way the sleeves are attached. It's a small thing, but the little things make a huge difference. This one also sports a thicker strap for you ladies that want to wear a bra with it. You can also make it a halter if you're into that because that's pretty cute too. If you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can feature you in our highlights. Now let's get on with the video, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a half a skein of Lime Brand's Pound of Love in the color Elephant Grey. As for tools, a 4 and an 8mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using four stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4mm hook and start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be, keeping in mind that we will have a bottom border. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 25 and that's 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. That counts as a half double crochet. From here, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, then insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook with a half double. So let's do the next one together. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that next chain, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we're going to continue doing this, going all the way down, leaving the last chain because we're going to increase together. Now that we have double crocheted all the way down our chain, we have just one left, so we're going to do our increase together. So prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that last chain and put one half double crochet. And then into that same last chain, we're going to put one more. And that is our increase. Once we have that all finished up, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and start this row off by doing another increase of two, but now back loop half double crochets. Prepare for a half double, insert your hook into that next back loop that we have, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to be doing one more into that same back loop. Prepare for a half double. Insert your hook into that same back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And now that we've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we're just going to get started on our third row with you guys. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Remembering to increase at the end of this row. And we're going to be increasing along the tops of all the rows that we have until this portion reaches the front of our body. And we want to make sure that we're stretching it as if we we're wearing it. And then I'll meet you guys back along the increase side. All right, so I am back with my underarm portion. I ended up just having a total of five rows, and that's just two inches or five centimeters. And from here, since we all should have ended along the top, what we're going to do is just make a chain to make sure that this fits over our armpit. So I'm just going to start off by making a chain of four. Once when I have my chain, I'm going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. From there, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. 
with a half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet, making our way down our chain. And then once we hit the body portion, we're going to go back to doing back loop half double crochets. Now that I've put one half double crochet into every chain, I'm going to go into the body portion, putting one back loop half double crochet into each of those. And then from here, this is going to be a straight shot until we hit about one inch right before the middle of our chest, because that's where our detail is going to be. So put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, do a chain up of two, flip our work. And I will meet you guys back along the top so that we can go in with our detail together from there. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with one side of our front panel. And now we're going to go in with our middle detail. We stopped just about an inch right before the middle of my chest, and I now have a total of 17 rows or five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. And since we all should have ended along the top right here, we're now going to get started with our decreases. So let's do that together. From here, we're going to do a chain up of two. We're going to flip our work and we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Into this first back loop, we're going to insert our hook, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Into this next back loop, insert, pull through. We should now have four loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And from here, we're going to make our way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And once we get to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three because we're going to do a decrease of three. So now that we've made our way all the way down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we are now on our decrease end and we have left our last three stitches. So let's do our decrease of three together. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into that third to last back loop, pull through. That second to last back loop, pull through, and then also into that last back loop, pull through. We should have five loops on our hook. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and we're going to be doing another decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So let's do that together again. Prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Next back loop, pull through. And into that next back loop, pull through. Should have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. From here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and do a decrease of three at the end. And we're gonna keep repeating that until this portion reaches the middle of our chest. And I'll meet you guys back along the top end right here so that we can go up with our increases. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our decrease portion of our V detail. And I now have a total of 23 rows or this is seven inches or 18 centimeters. And we did end along the decrease side so that we can just go straight into the increases from here. So what we're going to do is, since we did decreases of three, for the last few rows, we're gonna be doing increases of three. And then once we get to the last row, we're going to do an increase of two, since we started all this off by doing a decrease of two. So let's get that started. Since we should have all ended on this end, we're going to do a chain up of two and a flip our work. Into this first back loop, we're going to go in with an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a half double. Into that first back loop, we're going to go in with one half double. Into that same back loop, two half double. Into that same back loop, our third half double. And from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When we get down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining an increase of three back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have just one more row left to do. So I can remind you guys that that one row is our increase of two back loop half doubles. And then we can move on from there. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our increase of three rows. 
we ended up having the same amount of rows as our decrease of three rows along here. We have just one more row left to do, and that is our increase of two. And then we're going to work our way straight across, just like how we did on this side. Now I ended along the bottom. From here, I'm going to do a chain up of two, flip my work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. I'm going to meet you guys back so that we can do our increase of two, and then we'll move on from there. So we've just made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochets. We left our last stitch because we're going to go in with our increase of two into there together. So prepare for a half double. Insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, and we're going to be putting one more into that back loop. And then once when we have that, we're going to do the same thing that we did over here, just mirrored along this side. So we're going to go in with rows of back loop half double crochets with no increases or decreases for the same amount of rows as we have over here. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our underarm portion. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the solid body portion. We have the same amount of rows as we have along this side. And from here, we're going to go in with our underarm portion. And since I ended up having the same amount of rows on both sides, I ended along the top. So I did a chain up of one and cut. And then I inserted my stitch marker into the fourth stitch away from the top, which counts as the chain up of four that we did along this side. So if your chain is a little different, go ahead and adjust it along this side. But from here into the stitch that's right next to my stitch marker, going down towards the bottom, I inserted my hook into that back loop. And we're going to start off by doing our decreases together. So we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through. We're going to start this row off by doing a chain up of two. That counts as our first half double crochet. And since we did a decrease into each of these underarm rows, we're going to start off with a decrease as well. So prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two because you guys are going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into here, remembering that our chain up of two counted as our first half double crochet. And we're going to keep decreasing into every row that we have for the same amount of rows as we have over here. Once we have the same, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with this underarm portion over here. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're ready to get started on our back piece. And our back piece is going to be done very, very similarly to how we did the front. We're gonna do the same thing except for this cutout that we had right here. So go ahead and make the same initial chain that we made right here. Go in with the same rows of increases for our underarm and the same chain up. And then I'll meet you guys back just so I can talk you guys through going all the way across. And then we can move on from there. All right, so we are back with the very beginning of our back piece. And like I said, I had the same exact amount of rows and stitches as my underarm portion. I even did the same chain up that we did along here. And from here, all we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch going straight across. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our underarm portion along the other side. The only tip that I have for you guys is that our back panel doesn't have to be the same amount of rows as our front panel. So if you guys have a little bit more, a little bit less, that's completely fine. We just want to make sure that it can span across our back, making sure that the entire piece fits nice and snug. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have my amount of rows finished up, and then we can move on from there. All right, guys, I am back and I am nearly finished with my back panel. I ended up having a total of 26 rows, or that's 9 inches or 23 centimeters. And now I'm just going to go in with my underarm portion. The first thing that we're going to have to do is insert our stitch marker into the fourth stitch from the top. Or if your initial chain was higher or lower, go ahead and adjust it from there. And then from here, if you guys ended along the top, go ahead and do a chain up of one end cut and then insert your hook into the stitch that we have right next to our stitch marker and then repeat the same underarm that we did for the front panel. Or if you guys are along the bottom like me, what we're gonna do is do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet all the way down until we have just two stitches 
right before our stitch marker and then I'll show you guys how to do a decrease just one more time. All right, so now that we have made our way down, we're going to do a decrease into the last two stitches that we have right before our stitch marker. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four loops. From here, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and we're going to do another decrease since we're along the top portion right here. And since for our underarms, we do decreases into every row. So prepare for a half double, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through four. And keep decreasing into every row until we have the same amount of rows as all of our other underarm portions, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back, and I have just finished up going in with my underarm portion. I have the same amount of rows as all of my other underarm portions. So now I'm ready to seam up the sides. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that our hook is into the corner loop of the back panel and the front panel at the same time. And since my hook is already through both, I'm going to pull through and do a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to do a single crochet, making sure we're going into the front and the back panel at the same time. So insert your hook into that next available loop into the front panel. And then into that next available loop into the back panel. And then single crochet. Let's do just one more together. Next available loop into the front panel. And next available loop into the back panel. And then single crochet them together. And keep doing this going all the way down. When we make it down to the end, do a chain up of one and cut. And then seam up the other side as well. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up seaming up my front to my back panel along both sides. And yes, I did a little experimenting for the sleeve as well, but we'll get to that in a little bit. We're first gonna get started on our bottom band. So the first thing we're gonna do is go in with a row of single crochet. Let's untangle myself. We're gonna insert our hook into any one of these side half double crochets. I just prefer to insert my hook close to my seam. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through to a chain up of one. From here, we're gonna alternate between one to two single crochets into every other side half double. So let's do the first set together. This is my first side half double right here. Into here, I'm gonna go in with just one single crochet. So insert your hook into that side half double crochet row, go in with one single crochet. Into that next side half double crochet row that we have, we're gonna go in with two single crochets. So find that last half double, insert your hook, there's one, and then into that same loop, go in with a second. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do this just one more time. Into this next side half double, insert your hook into there with just one single crochet, and then into the side half double right after that, go in with two. And we're gonna keep alternating just like that, going all the way around. Go ahead and slip stitch into that chain up one space that we made for ourselves when we started this off and then i'll meet you guys back all right so we are back and we have just made our way all the way around with our single crochet row and now we're going to go in with the length of our bottom band i want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters so i'm going to start off by making a chain of 10. once we have our chain we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two from there we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then into that chain that we blocked off for the third chain from our hook we're going to go in with a half double crochet we should be fairly accustomed to them by now so go ahead and put one half double crochet into every chain and now that we've just half double crocheted all the way down our chain we're now going to connect it into the base so how we're going to do that is first start off by counting up the next two available single crochets so here's one here's two into that second single crochet, we're going to slip stitch to close off this row. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. And now this first row is closed off. And in order to work our way up to the next row, you're going to slip stitch into the next two. So there's one, and there's two. From here, flip our work, and then go down with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're going to keep doing back loop half double crochets going back and forth 
making sure that we're connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And then I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam it up together. All right, so we have just made our way all the way around with our bottom band. And now we are going to seam it up the same way that we have seamed up our sides. We just want to make sure that all of our seams are facing the same direction. So go ahead and flip your work wrong side out and then we can get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our hook is going in through the corner stitches of the front panel and the back panel. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And then we're going to do this the same way that we did the other seams. Let's just do the first one together. We're going to start off by doing a chain up of one and into the next available stitch we have into the front panel. Insert your hook and into the next available stitch we have into the back panel. Insert your hook and from there single crochet them together and keep doing that until we don't have any more stitches left and then I'll meet you guys back. All right guys, so we are back and we have just finished up seaming our bottom band and now we're going to go in with our sleeve. So the sleeve is gonna be constructed just a little bit differently. We're first gonna go in with a single crochet row and then we're gonna go in with double crochets, half doubles, singles, and repeat the same thing going up. And we're gonna keep repeating that while doing some increases until the tips of our double crochets meet along the outside of our arm. So let's get this started. We're going to insert our hook into this corner stitch, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here, we're gonna put one single crochet into every stitch, and then we are gonna meet some side half doubles. Once we meet those, we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets, and then finish off with regular single crochets. I'll meet you guys back at this other corner. All right, so I have just made my way all the way to the other corner with my single crochet row. And I will tell you guys my numbers, but you guys can go ahead and adjust to whatever you guys need to do from there but I ended up having a total of 23 single crochets. From here, I'm gonna go in with eight double crochets, two half doubles, three singles, another set of two half doubles, and then eight double crochets. But we are going to have to do some increases along the edges with our double crochets, so let's get that started. All right, so to get this first row started off with you guys, like I said, I'm gonna go in with eight double crochets, but that's really just eight stitches. My first two is going to be an increase of two back loop double crochets into the first two stitches, but in total, we're gonna to be taking up eight stitches. So let's get that started. I'm gonna start off by doing a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. I'm going to prepare for a double crochet into this first back loop. We're gonna do an increase. So there's one double crochet, pull through two, pull through two. Into that same back loop, we're gonna go in with one more. And into this next stitch, we're gonna go in with another increase of two back loop double crochets. So into that second stitch, there's one and there's two. And from here, I'm gonna go in with six back loop double crochets into the next six stitches. And now that I've gone in with my double crochets, I'm now gonna go in with my back loop half doubles. And like I said, I'm gonna go in with two of those. So there's one there's two. And then I'm going to go in with my set of singles. I have a total of three back loop single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Once we get to the other side of our single crochets, we're going to repeat the same thing that we did here on the other side. So I'm going to go in with another set of two back loop half doubles, one into the next two stitches. And then I'm going to finish this off with my back loop double crochets remembering to do an increase of two back loop double crochets into the last two stitches. So I have just two stitches left. Let's do our increase into the second to last. I'm gonna go in with an increase of two back loop doubles. Then into that last, another set of increase of two back loop doubles. From there, I'm gonna do a chain up of three and flip my work. So from here, we're just going to repeat the same thing that we just did here, remembering to do two sets of increases of two back loop doubles into the first two stitches and into the last two stitches. And we're going to maintain the same amount of stitches for our back loop half doubles, back loop singles, and then on the other side, our back loop half doubles. And we're gonna keep working it until this point reaches this point around our arm. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have my amount of rows all finished up so I can show you guys what I'm talking about and then we can move on with the rest. All right, so I am back and I have a total of seven rows and that is including my first single crochet row. 
My two double crochet points are long enough to wrap around my arm comfortably, so from here I'm just going to slip stitch those two together to a chain up of one and cut. So I'm going to make sure that my hook is in through the front panel's corner loop and the back panel's corner loop. We're going to pull through and do a chain up of one. I'm going to find my scissors and then I'm going to cut. And we have just formed our armhole. And from here, what we're going to do is start to try and make our work curve down until it is completely horizontal. And how we're going to do that is go in with just a few rows of single crochets to half doubles to doubles, and then repeating the same thing coming down here. So I'm just going to get my first row started off with you guys, since it's just going to be one row repeated until it's completely horizontal. I'm going to start off by inserting my hook into the middle stitch that I have, but making sure that it's going in the opposite direction from the previous row. So taking a look at our previous row together, the loops on top are going to be in a teardrop shape. In whichever direction the curved portion of our teardrop is going in, that's the direction the previous row was going into. So since mine was going in this direction, I want my next row to go into this direction. So I'm going to make sure that I am flipping my work accordingly to make sure I'm going in the right direction. And I'm going to insert my hook into the middle stitch, making sure I'm going in through the back loop. And from here, I will let you guys know my numbers, but you guys can go ahead and adjust from there. But since we all want to start off with our smaller stitches, since we're along our underarm, I'm going to go in with 10 back loop single crochets. I now have my 10 back loop single crochets. We're going to switch out for our back loop half doubles, and I'm only going to be doing two of those. And then from here, we're going to make our way around, putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch. Making our way around until we have the same amount of stitches that we used up here, because then we're going to be switching out for our back loop half doubles and back loop singles again. We're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we made, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then repeat the same thing that we just did here until our sleeve is completely horizontal when we wear it. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with the length. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with just a few more rows where we went in with single crochets to half doubles to double crochets. And when I try this on, my work is completely horizontal now. So from here, I'm just gonna go in with rows of back loop half double crochets until this reaches all the way down to our elbow. And then I will meet you guys back so we can go in with our bell sleeve. All right, guys, so I have just finished up going in with the length that went all the way down to my elbow. And now we can get started with our bell. From here, we're actually gonna be switching out for our eight millimeter hook. And for our first two rows, we're just gonna be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, so absolutely nothing fancy. But just a really quick tip, the first row may be a little bit of a struggle to get into since it is with a smaller hook. So don't be afraid to use your other hand to try and make that a little bit easier for you guys. But I'll meet you guys back once we have our next two rows finished up so that we can increase together. Okay, so my first two rows of my bell sleeve are all done. And now into the third row, we're going to do an increase. I'm going to start off by doing an increase into the 15th stitch. So I'm going to do 14 back loop half double crochets and increase. But if you guys want your sleeve more dramatic, you are welcome to increase more frequently. But I'm going to go in with my 14 back loop half double crochets right now. So now that I have my 14 back loop half double crochets into the 15th, I'm going to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So there's one. And then into that same back loop, go in with our second. And I'm going to repeat this sequence going around for the rest of this row. So 14 back loop half doubles, and then increase into the 15th. And then into the next two rows, I'm not going to do any increases or decreases. So kind of like how we started off our bell sleeve section. And we're going to be increasing into every third row. And they're going to be done in sets of two. So for this one, we increased into the 15th. We're going to have two rows of non-increases. And then into the second increase row, we're going to do another set of 14 back loop half double crochets, increase into the 15th. Now after that, we're going to have another set of two, but we're going to be moving up by two stitches. So after we do our two rows of back loop half double crochets, we're going to do 16 back loop half double crochets, increase into the 17th. And then we're going to keep moving forward like that. So into the next one, it's going to be another 16, increase into the 17th. And then after that, it's going to be 18th, increase into the 19th. 
We're just going to keep expanding slowly like that until we get the length that we need for our bell sleeve. And then I will meet you guys back so that we can finish off this piece. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with one of my sleeves. I ended up having a total of 51 rows and that is counting from the very beginning. And from here, you're going to want to do the exact same thing that we did here on the other side. And once we have that, we can go in with our strap. So getting started with the strap, we are going to be switching back out to our four millimeter hook. And then we're just going to single crochet across the top. And I'm just going to get started with you guys because we have a couple side double crochets to go into along with some side half double crochets. All right, so getting started with our single crochet section, I'm going to be inserting my hook into any one of these side half double crochet loops. It doesn't matter which one, but I am going to be inserting mine somewhere near the top just so I can show you guys that we're going to be putting two single crochets into each side double and then alternating between one to two single crochet into every side half double. So I'm going to insert somewhere around here, insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through. From here, I'm going to do a chain up of one. And since this is my first side half double crochet, I'm going to go in with one single crochet. Into my next side half double crochet, I'm going to go in with two single crochet. So there's one. And then there's two. Let's do the next set into this next side half double. I'm going to do one single, next side half double, do two single. We're going to keep alternating just like that until we hit our sleeve, which along the tops, it should be a bunch of side double crochets. All right, so I have just made my way all the way over to my sleeve portion. And my next row that I'm going to go into is this side double crochet. So all we're going to do is put two single crochets into each of those. So just to do the first one, insert your hook into that first one with one into that same loop with two. And we're going to keep repeating this going all the way down. Once we hit our side half doubles, go ahead and switch back to alternating between one to two single crochets. And then I'll meet you guys back once we've made our way all the way around and slip stitched into that chain of the one space. All right, so I have just made my way all the way around of my single crochet row that went atop the entirety of our piece. And the last thing that we are going to do is go in with our strap. And this is going to be a little bit different for everyone since we aren't going to have an exact start or end point. I'm just going to vaguely give you guys directions on where I inserted my stitch markers for my straps. But you guys obviously can adjust from whatever you guys want to do. But all I did is count it in from my side seam going into the front panel. I counted in 11 half double crochet rows. I found that stitch that's right on top of the 11. And then since I want my strap to be about an inch, I counted in towards the middle six stitches and inserted my next stitch marker and the back is done pretty similarly so looking at the back i took a look at my side seam and then for this one since my back is a little bit smaller i counted in eight rows inserted my stitch marker into that top stitch counted inwards a total of six stitches to match the front and now that that's sectioned off we can go in with our strap we are just going to need to measure out from this point going up and over our shoulder to the back half, we need to know that measurement. So just to get the strap started off with you guys, what I'm first going to do is insert my hook into this stitch that my stitch marker is in. I'm going to grab my yarn, insert that onto my hook, pull through, and start off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. And from here, I'm gonna put one half double crochet into every stitch, making my way down towards the next stitch marker. And now that we've made our way down with our half double crochets, we're just going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put back loop half double crochets in. And we're just going to keep going like that until we get the length that we need. And I'm actually going to keep going until I have a total of 20 rows, or that comes out to eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it into the back together. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with the length of my strap. And now we're just going to seam it up and the seam is actually going to be exactly the same way that we've done all of our other seams. So we're just going to do the first one together. We just want to make sure that our work is slipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are facing the same direction. But once we've done that, we're going to make sure that our hook is in through that stitch with our stitch marker in it. And then also into the corner stitch of our strap, we're going to pull through do a chain up of one. And then if we have to, we will flip. And then into the first available stitch into the front panel. And then into the next available stitch into the back panel. We're going to single crochet. 
I'm going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more strap stitches left to go into. Do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. And now that we have both of our straps nice and attached, the last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And our bell sleeve top is all finished. We have just a few summer uploads left, so I'm enjoying the crop tops while I still can. And this top turned out exactly the way I wanted it to, and I'm really excited to see how you guys remake your versions. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us the best pickup line you've ever heard. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.